What's up, YouTube? Wild Zero here. From data breaches, leaked government tools, ransomware, and misconfigured servers, 2017 has proven to be a cyber nightmare of enormous scale. The Equifax data breach. Originally discovered on July 29th, Equifax chose to wait until August 2nd to contact cybersecurity firm Mandiant. Mandiant, known for implicating China as cyber espionage back in February of 2013, assisted Equifax, determined a series of breaches that occurred from May 13th through July 30th. With well over 140 million people affected, hackers were able to gain access to mass amounts of personal data, including names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and even some driver's license numbers. But according to Equifax, there was a flaw in a tool designed to build the web applications. However, the Apache Software Foundation confirmed Equifax's data breach was due to failure in installing patches for the Apache Struts exploit. The tool called Apache Struts is used by many large businesses and government organizations. Equifax used it to support its online dispute portal, where customers logged issues with their credit reports. The lack of patching the exploit is what allowed for this compromise. Leaked Government Cyber Tools Shadow Brokers, an anonymous group, leaked a suite of hacking tools in April of 2017, believed to belong to the National Security Agency. The leaked tools allowed hackers to compromise Windows-based operating systems. Microsoft did release patches in March, however many people, organizations, and businesses ignored the updates and in return suffered immensely. The tools leaked ended up being used in this year's largest global cyber attack known as the famous WannaCry Ransomware. The WannaCry Ransomware a form of ransomware that came into existence thanks to the leaked Shadow Brokers Windows vulnerability, Eternal Blue. Now, Eternal Blue is a software vulnerability in Windows-based operating systems. Microsoft called it Eternal Blue MS17-010 and issued a security update for the flaw on March 14th. The patch was issued before the WannaCry ransomware got a chance to spread around the world, and those who updated early, they were protected. However, on May 12th, the WannaCry ransomware spread around the world, affecting mass amounts of networks, including public utilities and large corporations. The ransomware even crippled hospitals in the United Kingdom, affecting emergency rooms and delaying vital medical procedures. The vulnerability works by exploiting the Microsoft Server Message Block, or SMB, a file sharing protocol that allows applications to read and write files and request services that are all on the same network. Once affected, one would have to pay in Bitcoin to recover their data. British computer security researcher Marcus Hutchins, also known as MalwareTech, is credited for temporarily stopping the WannaCry attack by finding the kill switch, a single domain name. Number four on our list, Petya. First seen in March of 2016, which spread via infected email attachments, Petya resurfaced on June 27th of 2017 with a new variant and was used for a global cyber attack. The malware targets Microsoft Windows-based systems, infecting the master boot record to execute a payload that encrypts a hard drive's file system and prevents Windows from booting. Much like WannaCry, Petya demands that the user make a payment in Bitcoin in order to regain access to their system. Similar to WannaCry, Petya uses the Eternal Blue exploit to spread itself. However, it also uses the classic SMB network spreading techniques, which means it can spread within organizations even if they patched against Eternal Blue. Kaspersky Lab reported infections in France, Germany, Italy, Poland, the United Kingdom, and the United States. But the majority of infections targeted Russia and Ukraine. Bad Rabbit. Posing as an Adobe update in October of 2017, Bad Rabbit was another form of ransomware cyber criminals used to extort money from victims across the globe. Mainly targeting transportation systems in Russia and Ukraine, the Bad Rabbit ransomware was also detected in other countries, including the US, Germany, and Japan. Russian cybersecurity firm Kaspersky Lab stated Bad Rabbit targeted corporate networks using the same methods as Petya. Leaked Voter Records Reported on June 19, 2017, by CNN Tech, almost 200 million voters' data was leaked by a GOP analytics firm. Security firm UpGuard revealed almost 200 million registered U.S. voters' data was accidentally exposed due to improperly configured server security settings. The leaked data included names, birth dates, addresses, voter registration details, and even social media posts. 
hacked schools. Hacker group, known as the Dark Overlord, caused widespread chaos to targeted school districts across the country. In October of 2017, the hacker group stole information on students, teachers, and district employees and demanded money to destroy the files. This actually caused the targeted schools to close for up to three days. The Dark Overlord also sent threatening text messages as part of an extortion attempt. The same group was also responsible for leaking episodes of Netflix's own, Orange is the New Black. WikiLeaks Vault 7 Tuesday 7th, March 2017 marked the first release of WikiLeaks leaks on the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. Codenamed Vault 7, it was the largest publication of confidential documents on the CIA. Zero Day, the first part of the series, contained 8,761 documents and files from an isolated, high-security network inside the CIA Center for Cyber Intelligence in Langley, Virginia. The leaked collection included a majority of its hacking arsenal, including malware, viruses, trojans, weaponized zero-day exploits, malware, remote control systems, and associated documentation. Year Zero introduced the direction of the CIA's global covert hacking program and dozens of zero-day weaponized exploits against products such as Apple's iPhone, Google's Android, Microsoft Windows, and even Samsung TVs. Well, that sums up my top picks of the biggest cyber leaks, breaches, and hacks of 2017. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit me up on Twitter. Wired Zero out.